Duty World War II right around the corner, we're getting a lot of information now leading up to the beta, the first initial hype periods of when everybody gets their hands on experience with the game. And all that said, Game Informer's doing a month of content on Call of Duty World War II here with this. So that said, we've got a ton of information out of the past 24 to 48 hours from a Game Informer talking about various different portions of the game, that including multiplayer, zombies, not necessarily all that much campaign, but there is some stuff there. But what we're gonna be focusing on here today is everyone's favorite topic of discussion, and I say that, yes, a little bit sarcastically, supply drops and the content there within. So out of Game Informer and the interviews here with Sledgehammer and the team talking about the multiplayer aspect of Call of Duty World War II, there was initially the full confirmation that variants will be in Call of Duty World War II, but in a different variation and different form. This is something that Michael Condry took to Twitter a while back ago and said that all variants and everything in supply drops and the different variants for the weapons would only be cosmetic only. So that said, right now as it stands at launch, there are no plans for any stat altering weapon variants within World War II. And I honestly believe that once this post-launch stuff happens and we get some more DLC, micro DLC, it'll still be the same way, but we'll, instead of getting different variants and all that kind of stuff, get full on weapons like Black Ops 3 and maybe additional variants in there as well that are cosmetic only that have been mentioned for World War II. So while it will kind of suck to see that kind of thing happen if it does so at that point, it is still, once again, in a sense, cosmetic only to the degree of weapons not necessarily being changed. But as for launch, specifically speaking for this point in time, how this will end up working is that there will be different variations of certain weapons that will have different cosmetic features. And Game Informer and Michael Condry went on to explain a little bit about how this would in fact work. One of which of these things being one weapon variant of the STG-44, there is an epic version with an Iron Cross paint job. Another way that these can be demonstrated to be cosmetic only can be showcased in another way where Condry said that they wanted to do this in believability and there was a legendary version of a black ebony wood pistol or other weapon of some sort that is more so ornamental that a general would have behind their desk. Something of a keepsake, something that was more so just for show rather than actual battle. But of course, with that being said, with it being in supply drops and you being able to use them, of course, you'll be seeing it on the battlefield as well. Another one deals with something called sweetheart grips, where back in the day, soldiers would end up taking out some portions of the grips of their weapons and replacing them with plexiglass. Therefore, they could put pictures behind them and then end up seeing that picture as they looked down at their weapon. A little bit of a memoir of home, if you will, in that sense. So these sorts of things will be added into the cosmetic variations of each weapon. Now, how many of each weapon there will be? Will there be a dozen like each weapon in Advanced Warfare or will there only be a couple contrary to what we've seen in previous years with once again Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare having two of every classification at least. Just how many there will be that is still unclear, but it does seem like Sledgehammer are really trying to consistently nail and drive home that message of being cosmetic only. Once again, I do think that this will warrant at some point, just because we can't get away from this DLC model, micro DLC, it's in the game industry as a whole, but if everything is simply just cosmetic only like this and can serve as say a weapon kit or a paint job of some sort in comparison for what we've seen previously, if those can be found in supply drops, I'm okay with them being there. That doesn't necessarily make somebody have a statistical better advantage going up in gunfights. It just makes their gun look a little more cool. So while the future is still unclear in terms of the post-launch plans and just what it will be, once again, I'm still not thinking stat changing variants here coming within World War II, but to me, I think this sort of eases the blow of maybe supply drops coming, though really I anticipated it at this point, but for some people that are still holding out hope that that system will go away, I think that this might be a push in the right direction, assuming that it does end up staying cosmetic only. One can only hope once again, knowing the plans of the launch, but post launch, while that is still unclear, one can only hope that it can continually push the boundaries in terms of being cosmetic only, offering up these very cool variants that are cosmetic only that still will drive those sales to appease the needs of the actual business side of Activision, while also not taking away from anything that players may end up hating. So perhaps we are in the right direction, perhaps we are not. Only time will tell and clarify that path that we're on, but hopefully for all of us, it is once again, 
more so going towards that right way of cosmetic only, not necessarily ruining anybody's gameplay experience, that kind of stuff, bringing it down to a level that is not so severe as to what we saw within Black Ops 3, and at that point, I think I'd be relatively okay with it. So that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to give you guys a little brief explanation on how these legendary and epic variants would work within Call of Duty World War II, how they'd be thrown in with the supply drop system, everything like that, because this stuff is coming back, but right now it doesn't seem as bad as what we've seen in the past previously and hopefully it does stay like that. So that said, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think that we're on the right path? Do you think it will stay sort of cosmetic only once again, or do you think that you'll have the same mindset as me, whereas it'll start cosmetic, but then drop new weapons, but not necessarily stat changing variants post launch, whatever it may be, feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. Once again, I'm hoping, but that's really all that I can say about that, that this does stay cosmetic only for the full life of Call of Duty World War II, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding World War II, both multiplayer and zombies. The beta is coming up very, very soon, so make sure you guys stick it right here so you don't miss a beat. We'll be giving you guys the best tips, tricks, gameplay, all that kind of stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel, but if anything like Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Remastered, and Infinite Warfare interests you as well, make sure you stick it right here so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected me outside of YouTube. We practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that's said out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.